Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I am John and I am going to continue my series of reviews of Star Wars films. I have already done episodes 1 through 6 and now it is time for episode 7, The Force Awakens. Star Wars the Force Awakens takes place 30 years after Return of the Jedi and this group called the First Order have risen from the ashes of the Empire and are reigning terror on the galaxy and the New Republic. These two kids named Ray and Finn discover this droid who has a map that could lead to someone named Luke Skywalker who can save the day. Unlike my previous four reviews, this will not contain spoilers. This is the first Star Wars movie in which George Lucas was not involved in. Walt Disney Studios did not let him get involved. And when he proposed a trilogy idea, he was rejected. After that, they got J.J. Abrams and a couple of other people to put together a trilogy. And J.J. Abrams directed this film and wrote on with Lawrence Kasdan. Okay, so first of all, the acting. Harrison Ford returns as Han Solo and he gives his all in the film. And when, you, when Harrison Ford gives his all, he gives a terrific performance. Han Solo had become this kind of grumpy old man since Return of the Jedi. And Harrison Ford acts like a grumpy old man. Peter Mayhew somewhat returns as Chewbacca. He's only in a small portion of the film. Mostly it's this guy named Jonas Swatomos, I believe his name is. But prior to The Force Awakens, um, Mayhew or a muscle and could not walk properly. From what I read, he did the best he could. But most of the time, Chewie is Jonas. To be quite honest, though, I thought when I first saw The Force Awakens that that was all Peter Mayhew. So that tells you how well Jonas was able to play as Chewie. John Boyega does a terrific job. I have no clue if he was in anything before The Force Awakens, but if he wasn't, this is a terrific first performance. You know, I totally see John Boyega becoming one of the biggest actors out there. He hasn't really done that yet. I can see that. Oscar Isaac, who plays Poe, had done quite a few things before The Force Awakens. 
and his experience shows in his performance. He also does a really good job. Then there's Daisy Ridley, who plays Ray. She was the weakest of the three. She had only done commercials and short, short films before The Force Awakens. And that shows. She does fine in terms of I've seen worse for first acting performances by a mile. However, there's a lot of room to improve. The special effects are also really good. I have no clue if they used miniatures and models in this film. As far as I'm aware, all the effects are CGI, which kind of is a setback. Now granted, there's a lot of practical creatures and puppets and stuff like that, but in the original trilogy and in, with some of the prequel ships and stuff, were all miniatures and models. Some of the buildings were miniatures and models. Like I said, as far as I'm aware, this is all CGI. In terms of directing, I think J.J. Abrams did well. I had seen some of his other movies and I really like his Star Trek movies, and I love Super 8. That movie was awesome. But when it comes to J.J. Abrams, the writer, along with Lawrence Kasdan, that's the biggest flaw in the movie. It felt like a remake of A New Hope. Not Star Wars Episode 7. And that's honestly my biggest flaw with the film. When it comes to the new villains, um, I saw potential and the villains being great. However, I also saw they were still young and maturing and stuff. But it could be fixed in a sequel, maybe. Overall, Star Wars The Force Awakens is a really good installment in the Star Wars series. It's not the best by a mile. I think everyone knows that by now. However, if I had reviewed it with what I know about it now, back when it came out, I would recommend seeing it in theaters at a matinee price. So I'm giving it a matinee. So that is Star Wars The Force Awakens. I hope you liked my review of it. I'm going to be doing a two-parter of The Last Jedi. The first one is going to be a spoiler-free review for people who have not seen The Last Jedi yet, which I'm guessing is a minority. The second one will contain spoilers because there are certain things that happen in the movie I have to talk about. And I plan on releasing both reviews a day apart from each other. 
Well, that's all I have for now. I have stated my opinions about the film, and I hope you guys express your own. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all later.